course, we move now to the Nigerian film industry, which was hit with tragic news as the death of Junior Pope, a popular Nollywood actor, alongside other crew members, was announced. Now, they were crossing the River Niger while returning from the location of a shoot of the movie, The Other Side of Life. They died during a boat trip. The boat capsized while he and other crew members drowned. His body was discovered and rushed to the hospital where he was confirmed dead. Meanwhile, the National President of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, Emeka Rolas, has expressed sadness over the death of Junior Pope. According to a post on his Facebook page on Thursday morning, he said although he earlier announced that Junior Pope was alive out of excitement when they noticed the tingling of his fingers, he eventually passed away after efforts to revive him failed. In reaction to the development, the Guild banned the shooting of movies in River Rhine areas. The organization also suspended the producer of the film, Adam Maluk, noting that no actor is allowed to work with her as uh, a producer until further notice. Well, this is one story um, many people were watching. And when the story came up that he was dead and later the was information alive. that he was alive, then everybody was happy. Mm -hmm. I know I was at different places when I was trying to get the information, making some calls. We could hear people happy that ah, he's not dead and all of that. Suddenly, you know, it's quite um, tragic. It's a tragic death that was quite avoidable, yes, and sir. it has raised a lot of concerns about um, the safety shooting. of actors. The safety of actors and location. Um, what do you think of this whole um, situation? Well, I feel like it's a very sad situation, especially because um, it could have been avoided. If they had life jackets, maybe, just maybe, he and the other people, he and the other crew members would be alive. Mm -hmm. Get the makeup artist I, I, I learned has been buried, but well, she was buried beside the water. And then there was the controversy of if, if a person dies by water, maybe by drowning, that they have to be buried beside the water and stuff like that. And then I was also told, and what I read, I was also told that um, when they first revived him, they took him to an Habali, so I, like one of the, yes. the native doctors, instead mm -hmm. of taking him to a normal hospital, maybe that could have also saved his life. I feel like whatever rituals could have been done um, should have been done on him, if there was supposed to be any in the first instance, True. maybe could have been done after he was revived and, and well, like he was okay. But uh, yes, yeah, so always rest in peace. Truly, and it also says a lot about how we handle, um, as individuals handle emergency, emergency. cases, mm -hmm. um, because uh, you could see some videos of people carrying him. Mm -hmm. uh, something must have, they might have struck something or so um, before he finally passed on. But um, we uh, also um, pray for the family because he left uh, three young kids. Not just him, also the, all, the other three. Uh, yes, members. they left. They left family members. They lost. Fa they left family members behind. It's quite a tragic situation, mm -hmm. and of course, um, we will be discussing this and many more developments in the entertainment industry. Of course, um, we have our guest in the studio, Ifa Inkalo, who is joining us this morning to talk about this issue, his career, and being an actor in Nigeria. Now, Ifa Inkalo is an award-winning television and film actor who has featured in several movies like uh, Lagos Cougars, where he starred alongside Uchi Jumbo, Mona Lisa Chinda, Alex Okubo, amongst others. His breakout screen role was in 2012 when he was cast in the role of uh, Osen in the movie Kokoma, produced by Udra Kisong and directed by Tommy Robson. The movie received three nominations at the 9th African Movie Academy Awards. Now, since then, he has become a, a talented regular in the industry and has won many awards for his work in the film industry. Uh, of course, let's make welcome Ifa Inkalu this morning. Thank you very much for coming at this Thank point. Thank you. I Thank was you waiting so to hear the time. drum rolls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination would rock you. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, looking at um, the sad situation of um, Junior Pupa and the crew members who were coming from a movie shoot. When you, got, when you heard this information, what happened? What came to mind? Okay, um, first off, I, I, I wasn't on Instagram. I have been off Instagram a while, and you'd agree with me that most recent news, you know, you, you get them on, on social media yeah, before true. even, you know, other uh, medium. Uh, but I, I, I have I've been a part of, um, or I am a part of several groups, WhatsApp groups of um, Nollywood practitioners on WhatsApp, and, you know, messages were dropping on my phone and I didn't know what was happening. And, mm. you know, um, I read that he had drowned mm -hmm. 
and it was devastating. Uh, at, at the time, uh, when I first heard about it, I, I wasn't even thinking, was he, what safety measures were, you know, uh, put in place before the sad incident. Um, I, I, it was just a devastating news, you know, because this is this is close, you know, to mm. home. He's he's an actor. I'm an actor. You know, it could have been me. It could have been any of my colleagues. Um, I felt really bad about it. And then, of course, you know, we have to look at the circumstances that 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 surrounds or that surrounded the the, the tragic passing of Junior Pope and and uh, other crew members. How certain precautionary measures that should have been taken were avoided and this is very you know um it's an eye opener you know for actors for producers you know for the the guilds to come together and and say you know what this has happened as sad as it is we must look for and we must set certain measures you know going forward to ensure the safety of of, of actors of crew members of everyone that's um in, in, in that creative space as filmmakers. Um, okay, so is this what, does this usually happen where crew members go in arms way to shoot a movie mm. in Nigeria? Yeah. Like they go out to movie sets without safety measures like what we've seen in, in going across it, it, the it, it, it's, it's, it's not it's, it's, it's not the norm. Uh, as, as a Nollywood um, actor, practitioner, um, it's, it's not the norm. I know that uh, producers um, seek to ensure the safety of their crew and, and, and actors. And that, that's not to say there are people who don't fault mm -hmm. these simple rules. They do, you know, but it's not the norm. Like you say, oh, on every Nollywood mm -hmm. set, you get it. But, but the truth is you, you, we can't overemphasize on the need for safety, you know, for safety measures on, on every movie set. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, however, the AGN has now put in some sanctions, saying that no, for now, no more shooting of movies in the River Nine areas, yeah. and then also um, the suspension of Adama Luke, the producer, or yeah. for that notice. Do, do you think this is going to really help anything? I mean, what really are we supposed to do as regards to the situation? Because the welfare and safety of actors is, I think, it's paramount. Do you think so? Absolutely. I, I think um, that the AGN uh, chairman or president did what I'd say was the right step, you know, in the right direction, uh, because you, you, have to, you have to react, mm -hmm. you know, the right way. And suspending the producer um, was the right call. Uh, uh, suspending movies in river Rhine right areas for now was the right call because we have to be sure that we set rules and structures for um, filming in certain locations. So it's not just river Rhine right areas, but I mean this was, it would set a precedence, you know, for other shoots that would take place in river Rhine right areas because you 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 know you 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 are carrying lives, you know, on water. It's not, everything should be done to ensure the safety of these people. So then, I don't know what the AGN is doing right now, but situations like this where there would be shoots done on water, let there be officials from the guilds that will come to that set to enforce, you know, the measures that, that ought to be carried out with shooting in, in river Rhine areas, are there life jackets? Be it, and it's not just a matter of life jacket, because everyone was talking about life jacket, life jacket. It's not just about life jacket. It's about ensuring that there are other um, 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 emergency, maybe boats, or, you know, there, there ought to be people, first you know, exactly. Yeah. First aid boxes, you know, don't just have people around who are yeah, professionals right. yeah yeah even I, I don't know if there are ambulances on water but i mean just no, i'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying in general no, i'm even saying movie. i'm even saying right on the water surface right there ought to be other boats there ought to be people there who can help in case there's an emergency divers and all of that so yeah so in, in all of this now like she has asked about um, the agent stance do we also have a, a register where filmmakers who want to shoot a movie go to the AGN and maybe tell them, show them what they have to do and the measures they're putting in place for their actors? 
Um, I, I, do, I don't know that that, that happens, you know. Um, I, I think, I mean, I, I stand to be corrected. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but what I know is a movie producer just goes ahead and, and, and shoots, you know. Without uh, recourse to... AGN at all? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't know that that, that happens. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a filmmaker myself. <laughs> I've produced, you know, a couple and I know that I don't, you know, go to anybody and say, well, I'm about to shoot mm. and this and that, you know. Uh, but like I said, if your question is directed towards, of course, safety, so that the AGN yes. can know what you're doing and how you're doing it, mm. um, um, that might also be um, a suggestion you know, to to help the AG and monitor the sets or the movies and have representatives, you know, on 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 these sets, yeah. <laughs> so you talk about you producing movies, so I'm just going to jump mm -hmm. into the water <laughs> yes. <and> boat <laughs> and ask about your career. So yeah. I have watched a few of your movies. Uh, mm -hmm. your, the one that I watched recently was War on Netflix. Uh, how was your how has your journey been in filmmaking? Because, I mean, I was telling you outside that I watched a, a few of your earlier movies. You look very different. <laughs> Good different, by the way. Thank but you. How has Thank the journey you. been? Well, we say kudos to the wife. Yes, 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 yes. Kudos to the wifey. I, I, I hope she's watching right now. <laughs> if you are watching, I love you. Thank you for all oh, you do for me. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. Uh, okay, my, my career has been, I'm grateful, grateful to God, grateful for the opportunity to uh, put smiles on people's faces, to be able to engage people, you know, in that way. Of course, it, it hasn't um, been without challenges, um, but it's, it's a career where the more you are on it, the more you grow. You get so you, it's difficult to get bad as an actor, especially when you're talented. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it has paid my bills. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> it has paid my bills. Um, it has helped me in certain quarters as as a celebrity um, with regards to fame. Um, it's it's been a, it's been a beautiful experience. Like I said, not without challenges, mm -hmm. but it's something that I would do over and over and over again. So how do you mix your career and family life? Is there, has there been times where it has been difficult? Yes, yes, of course. There's been times um, where it's been really difficult. But I think the, the right thing to do as a family man and as an actor is set structures and ensure that you know, your family would not suffer mm -hmm. you know, because of your career. And so what I do is carefully select the roles that I, you know, take. If it's going to um, be something that would take me out of town, um, what's the possibility of taking my family, okay. you know, taking my wife with me? Um, <laughs> I know that might sound weird to some people, <laughs> but, you know, um, I, that, that has happened on, I think, two, two or three occasions where my wife you know, had to come. Of course, we have a baby now, so it's a bit um, um, challenging. So you just have to find that balance and strike the balance to ensure that family doesn't suffer. So that's that's what I've been able to do. So what has been your biggest issue, your biggest um, what's what challenge um, during the course of your filmmaking career? Um, it's it's been it's been quite a number, you know. But we, we will talk about the ones that are prevalent, okay. um, which would be. First would be movie sets. I know that we really do not have studio facilities in, in Nigeria where you have um, uh, film sets, you know, where you can go to and as a producer, as an actor, a filmmaker, and know that you are there working without disturbance from you know, other people. People like, um, before we talk about people now, we talk about because I mean, this is this is a studio, right? Mm -hmm. And you know how important it is for good sound, True. right? So, examples 
like shooting somewhere and then we hear generator noise oh, you know right. and the sound man is telling you ah, i can't shoot i can't shoot and as time is going money is is, is going as well daylight. you know daylight if it's if it's a day scene you know and you can't light for day at night um th that's one big challenge but if we had you know a proper studio facility somewhere away from town you know that's got buildings that's got supermarkets it's got you know places a place where you can you know set up a location and tear it down and do different things um that will help a lot it will help the film producer it, it would save us money mm -hmm. you know so that's just that's, that's one 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 part of it also we talk about um, um um skills as filmmakers we know that uh, we don't yet have um, solid institutions for film, but I've been I'm, I'm privy to um, certain information. You know that these things, the, the present administration is working really hard to ensure that we have film institutions. Now I'm not talking about a lot of people are doing so well. You know, in in trying to educate filmmakers. You know, the likes of um, Ebony Live, uh, uh, Del York, mm -hmm. uh, there's Royal Art Academy, Africa yeah, Film Academy. There's you know there are pockets here and there that offer crash courses and all of that. That's been amazing. They've been doing a great job. Now we need to take it a notch higher. Let's have proper institutions where you can be in film school for two years, for three years, in most cases, or some cases, four years. So when we have filmmakers come out of these institutions, they are not half-baked. They are solid, well-grounded filmmakers. And then we can, you know, have filmmakers that can do Monkey Man, for example. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> looking at Monkey Man, do yeah. you think we can go that far? Oh, why not? Why not? I tell you something, right? With the, most of the filmmakers we have today, I stand to be corrected, but I know of people who are self-taught, you know, who they, they, they have developed themselves by themselves. And they've probably, oh, let me get to this film school, let me do this crash course here and there. And with little or no... Um, What's it called? N uh, um, um, institutionalized, you know, knowledge. They are able to go really, really far. And we are doing all of this great work. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the likes of Jade Oshiberu. You have the likes of Kemi Adetiba. Mm -hmm. You have the likes of Ni uh, Akimoloyo. Moabudu. Moabudu. Yeah, Moabudu also yeah, directed yeah. Funke Akindele. Uh, they are all doing great stuff and i'm so glad that Kayode Kasum, you know Kayode Kasum yeah, as well. yeah doing amazing yeah. stuff so so imagine all we need is support more support push those people give them everything that they need let's have good funding we uh, would do better than monkey man so trust out, me out of all these names you called there are about five mm. women you mentioned yes five women are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, what no. has women brought to the table in the industry that they are now a force to be reckoned with. Even um, um, Shanty Town was mm -hmm. uh, one of the producers. Is, 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 a, is, a, is a woman, yeah. uh, Chicho Nwara. That's her name. Um, so that, that that goes a long way to tell you that. I mean, this is not to say that the male um, <coughs> folks aren't doing great. Nah. Do you understand? They're doing amazing yeah, as well. Um, but it goes a long way to show you that we have really talented filmmakers in Nigeria, regardless of gender. gender. Do you understand? That goes a long way to show you that there is passion for, for this thing. Do you understand? So it, it, if in certain um, 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 countries in the past, you know, um, their GDP was rebased mm. to include entertainment, you know, into their economy. And then what happens? GDP, G, the, the GDP of, of the nation, you know, increased. Do you get so? It's happened in Nigeria as well. So now the government, we are, we, everybody knows that, oh, entertainment is a big deal. Mm -hmm. If women can do so well in this sector, then it means there's something here that we should be interested in. Truly, yeah. truly, truly. Uh, but uh, on the final notes now, do yeah. we plan on, do we know, are we going to see that um, if I'm Carlo is going to release a cinema movie soon? Oh, of course, yes, yes, yes. So if it's not been said before, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been said on this show for the first time that I will. And, and I'll, 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 I'll bring you guys I mean, No problem. I wanted to press for more. We can have cameo <laughs> appearance. <laughs> <laughs> we probably would have a scene where, you know, there's a, a, a news 
uh, yeah, and then we would no have, yeah, and of course, ah, the lovely man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I can, thank you so much for coming, it's and of course, pleasure. thank you for um, discussing with us on these various issues. Thank it's you. quite a delight having you. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course, that's um, uh, the end of the segment. Uh, coming up is the sports team. We'll be giving you stories in the ever exciting world of sports. Stay tuned.